Okay. So what's going on, y'all? What's good? We got your boy Ninja Mark in the building from Speak On It Podcast. Mark, what's going on? Yeah. What's good, fam? What's going on, man? We've been trying to do this thing for like two weeks now. <laughs> I know, man. I know. We missed you, man. We, we missed you, man. We missed you. I, I was I'm telling excited, though. Hey, man. I, know. I can't wait. I can't wait. You had blessed it. I know you had blessed it in, um, in my store here, man. I was the one missing. <laughs> so I'm here today, man. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. I know you about to go crazy, so. Shout, shout, shout out your social media, man. Shout out your social media, all that. Man, I'm not big on social media, bro. So I don't even. Think... <laughs> I have a page. I don't even know I have it. Uh, I started posting music video crowd because I play music and whatnot, but yeah. I don't even really use it like that, fam. Um, yeah, I'm on it every now and then, but uh, I think it's musical on the score vibe. Is that what it is? Musical with a K on the score vibe. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah. And, uh, you know, obviously, I'm. Um, I'm gonna speak on the podcast, man. Uh, if you guys don't know yet, if you if you're not following us yet, please go check us out, man. Uh, we've been doing this for like I would say four or five months now, and uh, we've made a lot of progress, and we have a long way to go, and we're working a lot on a lot of things, man. Trust me, we we getting uh, getting ready to wrap up season one, which was a very uh, uh it was a very successful season. Um, but we have bigger and better things coming for season two. Please stay tuned, follow, uh, check out our videos, um, our social media page. Uh, just give us that uh, that support, man. Uh, we don't ask them for more, man. Just subscribe to our, our YouTube page and uh, go follow our page on Instagram, man. Appreciate That's it. Real. That's real, man. That's real. You ready to get these questions, man? You ready? <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready with you, man. I feel like you're about to go. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put me in trouble out here, man. No, no, nah, nah, you're gonna be good, man. You're gonna be good. Hey, so first question, man. Rick Ross recently was yeah. found out, you know, he's been paying eleven thousand dollars a month for child support for three kids, man. For three kids. So my question is Rick Ross paying eleven thousand a month for three kids, is that too much or too little for Rick Ross? You can look I I feel like you can look at this in, in many different angles. You feel me? Mm -hmm. uh, you can look at this in many different angles. Like one off rip, I was like, man, he got away. He got a good lawyer. Like, <laughs> who is this guy lawyer? Like, <laughs> Dr. Dre to hire this guy, man. Like, because <laughs> you already know Dr. Dre is like paying what? I don't know, like a million a year or something. I don't even know how much it is. It's just a crazy number. Too much. And obviously, you know, the ladies out here are going to tell you, man, it's nothing. He's making a lot of money. So it doesn't matter. Um, that's one way you can look at it, like as in, like, bro, like eleven thousand compared to what these other um celebrities are paying, that is nothing. That's yeah. one way for me. I, I could look at it this way, man. Here, it's three kids, right? Yeah, three kids from the same three one. Three kids, right? Um, you could you could basically say that that money. Let's say when he was married, right? With that, with that, uh, uh well, whoever his baby mama. Um, for me. I would say, bro, maybe because I, I didn't uh, raise in a family that was like wealthy and well off. Uh, for three kids, uh, $11,000 a month. I mean, one, the first thing you got to look at is are, are they being well fed? Are they being taken care of? You know what I mean? That's the first thing uh, we all know. Uh, as a man, we have your kids, you have to make sure they have a house to live in, mm -hmm. right? They're living comfortable, comfortably. They have clothes in the back and they have food to eat. That's the essential things. All the other things um, are like, you know, they're not necessities, but they good. You know what I mean? So for me, I had that, I have that mindset because that's how I grew up. You feel me? Yeah. My dad gave me, you know, I was, I lived with my dad, make sure I had some uh, clothes to put on and food to eat. So we're good. And trust me, it didn't take, it did not take, uh, if you divide the number 11,000 by, divided by three, that's 3,000 something or more for each kid. Yeah. Trust me, I didn't have three thousand dollars a month for uh for, for anything going up. That's facts. Even better yet, not even a thousand. <laughs> so that's you could that's why I say you can look at this in many different angles. Now you have to make sure, like I said, number one, make sure your kids are being taken care of, make sure they're well loved, uh, they're not struggling. That's the most important thing. So 
go ahead add to this, man. Um, what do you think? Am I making sense or am I being stingy? Like, no, yeah, no. he could have done more. I feel like it's up to him now if he wants to, um, yo, you know what? I want to buy my kids this. I want to make sure I take them out. Uh, let me take them to this and this place. Uh, let me make sure they're enjoying their life. You know what I mean? It's up to you at that point. But number one thing is make sure your kids are well off and being taken care of. For me, that's number one thing. Yeah. No, nah, trust me. No, nah, I, I completely agree, man. I, I even take it a step further because I, I did I did my research on her. Uh, apparently, she reported that she made about three thousand dollars last year, like for the whole. What? Yeah, for the whole. Yeah, for the whole twenty twenty, she made three thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand dollars for the whole twenty twenty of what, last like, year. What was like, she doing? Like, what kind of job? Like, pays you three thousand dollars for a year. Like, so she she's been she's basically be basically been claiming unemployment. For, for years, man, for years. And so they, they, a, lot, a lot of them would do stuff like that to make it seem like, oh, okay, I'm broke, I don't have any money, and this, that, and third, so I need the max. But yeah, so she was only making that in the whole year. So I, in my opinion, I think 11,000, in my opinion, because I'm the same as you, man, like my, you know, I wasn't raised mom and dad, you know what I'm saying? Like my, my, my yeah. dad paid child support, he paid, I think like 400 a month or four or $500 per month. So that's a fraction yeah. of 11,000. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It doesn't take eleven thousand dollars to raise some kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and if no. it takes that much, then obviously you shouldn't even be having full custody of those kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that, yeah. that's, that's that's my whole take on it, man. That, that's that's my whole take on it because I, I don't I I mean I, I don't know, man. It's kind of like uh, you know Chris Brown and, and his and his baby mama. This man's paying like forty thousand dollars per month for child support. Drake paying two hundred seven thousand dollars for child support. P.J. Washington. Two hundred thousand dollars for child support. Like, what the hell? Like, what child? What more yeah. baby need two hundred thousand dollars a month? Yes, some people that yeah, people that goes to school. Like, you know what I mean? For four years, making forty six thousand dollars a year, and that's that's them going to school and, and studying the butts up and just um, you know, having countless um sleepless nights because they're trying to study for an exam, yeah. only to make sixty seventy thousand dollars a year. And you telling me it's that. If that you telling me you got to pay forty something thousand dollars in child support, I don't know. I just think, <laughs> yo, I'm all for hey, if she had, especially if you have kids with that uh, woman, yeah. take care of that kids. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, take care of her. You know, make sure she's good. Make sure mm -hmm. the kids are good. Yeah. But I don't think it takes forty thousand dollars to take care of the kids every month. Yeah. I doubt. There's no way you're gonna tell me you need forty thousand dollars a month or more than that. Like, bro, you know, no, you don't. I don't think so. Yeah. Like for real, you you, you could have. You, you, let's say your mortgage is like fifteen thousand dollars a year. You still got like twenty a month. You still got like twenty five k left. What do you do with yep. that? The rest of the money, right? Like, yo, food, electricity bill, light bill, water bill. Like, what else do you do? Like grocery shopping, yeah. Like for real, I don't, I don't know, man. To me, um, as a man, that's why you gotta be careful who you, who you sleep with, who you, who you have kids with. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, because man, you're gonna pay the price. Right. You're gonna pay a big price for it. Uh, apparently, they was they was together for some years, man. They was like I said, he has three kids from the same woman, so they was together yeah. for some years. Like you get what I'm saying? But I know. I, I'm looking at it like this. So Rick Rick Ross just um what, what, what one of his sons just had recently had a birthday. His son turned sixteen a couple months back. Rick Ross um you, you, I don't know if you know but Rick, Rick Ross franchises Wingstop. So what now? Uh, he 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 he, he franchises with Wing with Wingstop. So he owns a couple Wingstop. Yeah. Um, yeah yeah. So he gave his son uh, for his sixteenth birthday he gave his son a Wingstop franchise. Yeah. And so I'm mm -hmm. looking like yeah you know, like he, he, people with triple thumbs up, oh that's too little he he could pay more pay more for what you know that's he's too doing more stuff bro. with his kids what are you talking about man give you a whole investment something that's gonna like bro man give you a friend like a wing stop for you to manage bro like at six matter of fact that's better than giving money that's an investment that's gonna grow over time you feel me yeah yeah people don't understand man like yeah. man, well, right. I tell you, man. And that's and that, and that, again, that, that, that's the whole issue that I'm having because it's like, yo, 
he's already paying you a lot of money, number one. Number two, I'm, I know for a fact Rick, Rick Ross is not a deadbeat father. Like, I know for a fact he's doing more for his kids because every time his kid's birthday or Christmas something, he takes pictures and he shows what what, what he's doing with them. Mm -hmm. he, he gave his daughter, like, some 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 um expensive damn car for her birthday. He gave his son a, a, a franchise wing stop for his birthday. His other son is supposed, supposed to have a record deal to Maybach Music, which is under him. So he's teaching his kids how financially how to get the money. So I'm like, yo, what more do y'all want this man to do? Like, you know what I'm saying? At this point, it's child support even, isn't even child support anymore. Now child support is the mother, the baby mama support. That's what it is. Like, you That's know what, what I'm saying? Man, listen, bro. Especially, let's say, like, you're not with that person. You know. And what I don't understand is that whoever is um, the judge and whoever is in charge of setting the amount, they know damn well that they doing too much. You know what I mean? They know damn well that's way too much, man. And yep. as a man, especially like I don't know why they broke up or what happened, but let's say let's say uh, bro, we're no longer on good terms. Like, and I know them one, you don't need forty thousand dollars a month or whatever to take care of this kid. I already know you're using me, but as a man, that I don't know, man. That's that's why it, that to me is messed up, bro. That's messed up, and a lot of times these chicks move on with different guys and. And kind of like that of the trade thing, right? He's still, he's gonna be paying this thing as long as she's not married. He's still gonna have to pay and all I of that. Man, that is messed up, bro. She, and you know she's she not, not gonna get married. She's, she's just gonna move with some guys or something. And that's right, it. Yo. And continue to spend his money for the rest of her life. She's not gonna get married after this. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like as man, bro, it's tough. It's it's tough being a man sometimes, especially when it comes to child support. I'm all for men taking care of the kids, man. That's number one. Make sure your kids are taken care of, man. But um, at some point, I feel like this law has to change, man. There, there has to be a change. You feel me? There has to be a change, and we have to evaluate on how we decide on uh, how much a man should pay. Because I don't know what they use as an evaluation. Whatever they're using is 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 bogus. Simple as that. Eleven thousand dollars a month. Bro, y'all, y'all kids, man, better be happy, bro. Like, yeah, kids, uh, that don't even know when the next meal gonna come. Oh, where's not like you telling me that you can't survive for up for three thousand dollars a month per kids or more? Come on, nah, I, I ain't buying that. <laughs> Call me cheap if you want, but I'm not buying that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't buying that, damn. You know you didn't have a thousand dollars a month growing up as a lounge. A thousand dollars a month? Hell no. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, bro. We didn't even have a ten dollar allowance growing up, man. That, that's that's how poor we was. We didn't we didn't have any allowance. Well, allowance what? Tell me what? about it. Allowance what? What are you talking about? You 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 just ate. I gave you food. I gave you a house to a roof to live under. I I put clothes in your back. You better be happy. I'm taking care of you. <laughs> but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Man. All right. Finish line, I ran past it. So egotistic, so cocky, so conceited. Cause I'm better than your average. I'm mad sick when I spit that shit. When I spit that flow, she gon' wanna catch my.